You get your wind back, remember the finish line, and keep going. At Apple, people are putting in 18-hour days. I'm convinced that about half of what separates the successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. It is so hard. You put so much of your life into this thing. There are such rough moments in time that I think most people give up. I don't blame them. It's really tough and it consumes your life. If you've got a family and you're in the early days of a company, I can't imagine how one could do it. I'm sure it's been done, but it's rough. It's pretty much an 18-hour day job, 7 days a week for a while. Unless you have a lot of passion about this, you're not going to survive. You're going to give it up. You've got to have an idea, or a problem or a wrong that you want to write that you're passionate about, otherwise you're not going to have the perseverance to stick it through. I think that's half the battle right there. I've read something that Bill Gates said about six months ago. He said, I worked really, really hard in my 20s. And I know what he means because I worked really, really hard in my 20s too. Literally, you know, seven days a week, a lot of hours every day. And it actually is a wonderful thing to do, because you can get a lot done. But you can't do it forever, and you don't want to do it forever, and you have to come up with ways of figuring out what the most important things are and working with other people even more. I don't think I've ever worked so hard on something, but working on Macintosh was the neatest experience of my life. Almost everyone who worked on it will say that. None of us wanted to release it at the end. On the Macintosh, when we finally presented it at the shareholders meeting, everyone in the auditorium gave it a five-minute ovation. What was incredible to me was that I could see the Mac team in the first few rows. It was as though none of us could believe we'd actually finished it. Everyone started crying. As it was clear that the 60s were over, it was also clear that a lot of the people who had gone through the 60s ended up not really accomplishing what they set out to accomplish, and because they had thrown their discipline to the wind, they didn't have much to fall back on. Pixar has been a marathon, not a sprint. There are times when you run a marathon and you wonder, why am I doing this? But you take a drink of water, and around the next bend, you get your wind back, remember the finish line, and keep going. On the Macintosh, it was as though we knew that once it was out of our hands, it wouldn't be ours anymore. 